Well, new tonight at 6, a Macomb County man accused of a growing crime known as sextortion. And tonight, a federal indictment says he blackmailed teenage girls into performing sex acts during video chats right on the Internet. 7 Action News reporter Jim Kirchner tells us more about the accused cyber stalker from New Baltimore. The feds say it didn't take much. A man living in these apartments here in Macomb County by himself had a computer and savvy to convince, get this, 18 young girls in western New York to fall victim to what's being called sextorting. Harassment by uh, email, by text message, by other social media, Twitter, Facebook. The feds came here to Macomb County, New Baltimore, and New Haven with search warrants, plus online found deep cyber tracks. James Allen allegedly told girls from ages 14 to 19 that he hacked into their email and other accounts, found naked photos of them that he would distribute all over their area unless they would pose naked for him. It ultimately led to him demanding these victims to engage him on Skype. Allen has pleaded not guilty and his public defender in Buffalo, New York, is going through the evidence. The discovery, you know, the government has gone through it and now we're going through it just to, again, just to make sure that uh, where we are and where we stand with the merits of the case. That evidence includes cyber chats of the sextortion that ran from April to August of last year. The case was started when the young girls went to their parents, who then went to police in Kenmore, New York. Doing the best he can given the nature of the charges and just given the charges in general. The man was arrested here in northern Macomb County, New Baltimore, New Haven area back in September. He remains in custody. If convicted in New York, he faces up to 30 years in prison. In Macomb County, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. Okay, Jim, thank you. The indictment against James Allen includes five counts of producing child pornography and 18 counts of cyber stalking. He was convicted of cyber stalking a Michigan State student back in 2007. Allen's probation expired in March of last year, right before these new cases allegedly started.